Um, I made a homemade piggy bank and it looks terrible, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. Okay, so this is it. Um, I'm saving up for something and I have $40.55 in here so far. So yeah. So Sophie's saving up for something. Super important. If you guys saw yesterday's video, you will know what it was, right? Yeah. Good uh, morning guys, welcome to today's video. I uh, jumped out of bed this morning, completely on fire with so much energy. I'll show you. I made a banana bread already. The dogs are like, let me have some, they smell it. So Sophie put uh, even, oh, it's in the shape of a heart. I've been seeing a lot of hearts again lately. It's a sign, be kind. Anyways, welcome to today's video. Sophie already started the vlog. I'm just getting cleaned up here. Girls are getting school started. They've just done their reading. Yeah, and then, um, because I want to save up for something. And if you watch the other video, then you guys would know. So last night, the craziest thing happened, you guys. Like, this is crazy. So basically, what happened was in the night, I had a dream. Oh, so, terrifying. yeah, okay, hold on. I can't do two things at once. Wait, oh, can you take that mask off of her? Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, we love you, Pen, but we gotta run. Okay, I'll walk up and tell you. So last night, I was sound asleep. I had a dream. And I had a dream that Willow was running. And she went running everywhere and got free and everybody ran to save her. And I was panicked. I was like, oh my gosh, Willow ran. And then I woke up. And then, I, and then all of a sudden I heard like really bad thunder and lightning, like so bad thunder and lightning that I'm like, oh, the horses are out because we leave them out at night for a little while till it gets colder. And I'm like, Sam, Sam, I had a dream that Willow got out. I feel nervous. And he's like, I'm tired. They'll be fine. I'm like, yeah. And then I was like panicking in my sleep thinking like, what if they're not fine? And then all of a sudden Sam wakes up and he says, I'm just going to go down and put the horses in. It's at 2 a.m. and he goes down. So just went down in the dark in his pajamas. I should have taken my flashlight. My flashlight all the way from the barn to your window is great. Yeah, we should. he should have. Anyways, I slept Gabby through it because I, I fell back asleep. Gabby has the best Gabby. flashlight. Nobody heard. I thought he should take the, wake the kids up and make a video of you going down to the barn in your pajamas last night. You thought you were going to get I electrocuted? Was getting I was getting blind because the lightning would go off and I'd be like, it'd be bright and then I couldn't see again when it was yeah. yeah. Can you like move your seat forward and yeah. up So, uh, whoa. Penny didn't want to go on her crate yet. He comes back to bed and I'm like snoring away. Not you really. I don't know where it is. It should be up there somewhere. But I was sleeping uh, and... Never mind, I got it. I was sleeping and... Sam came back to bed and I know he took Molly down because I heard her come in, but yeah, that's what happened last night. Yeah, all I smelled was wet dog all night. Yeah, so that's what happens when you have horses though. Like, you can't sleep all night. Sometimes you gotta wake up because you have bad dreams and then you have to save the horses even though they weren't in trouble. So Sam saved the horses. Thanks Sam for saving the horses. Anyway, we're headed to the boys barn to see them. Small. <laughs> so we're at the barn and Gabby needed a sweater so she took one of mine. Just for the record, that's big on me too. I bought it so it'd be extra huge. Huh, you say yeah, that. Extra, extra large. So if you guys have been following the saga of the missing breeches, do you guys remember not that long ago, Sam bought Sophie a new pair of breeches because she had these gray ones and I bought them for her and we lost them. Last night, lost. in a weird twist of fate, I found them. I found them, whoa! That's why you cannot wear rubber shoes here. No, I was watching while I was walking. <laughs> Alright, our horses are not here. We know where they are though. Yeah. Feels like forever since we walked in this field. But then I'm gonna get a nice coffee. So I'm gonna be even colder. But this is actually Hi, big, big guy. And he's like, where are all the treats? I know you have them. There, there was a bee on me too. It must be bee season. Like I've seen three bees this morning. Oh, stinging nettles. Yeah. Yeah, they hurt. They're awful. We got our boys and we're ready. I told you guys the other day that we're changing up our fall routine. We're going to do some different things. And we've done it, I think, every year. But it's busy. it was kind of a busy show season. At least it was, like, busy for us. And it must have been busy for them and preparing and stuff. So this fall, we're going to try and do more trail rides and stuff and more stuff 
just for our horses. <laughs> Jump! Good boy, Finn. And you guys know that Sophie's never had a good trail running experience. And so that is going to be another thing that we're going to focus on today. I'm going to focus on trying to like fix things for Sophie in the trail department. Because now that she likes Penny, I want her to go on trails with me. Yeah, he needs a good drink. She always brings him for a drink before she takes him in. Wow. You'd be drinking a lot, Finn. Now watch out because if he's like Storm, he puts it on, puts it on you. All right, so you guys know that Sophie always says that she asks Finn's opinion and he always chooses. So we're going to see right now. Back up for a minute. Sophie's got slobber on her back. I think that's Finn. Finn who slobber? Hi, Finn. What one? The white one? All right. <laughs> see? He knows. You're so smart. And Gabby's over here preparing for a trail ride of her life with some studs. So this is the plan. Did Finn not to take anything to heart? Unless I say good boy and I love you. Oh, she loves you, Finny Finn. Okay, so this is the plan. The plan is that Sophie's just gonna go slow. And we're just going on the road because that's the only place she's good. She's just gonna go slow and be casual. And like, if you don't love trail rides, Peter then Peter. you just gotta Peter go slow. This thing where when I get on, he walks away. So I'm like hurting his back when I'm getting on because he's walking away and I can't. Finny. All right, so that's what we're doing. We're walking with Gabby until we get We're to the walking road. with Gabby till we get to the road. Gabby with the giant sweater on cuz you know that's what girls do. We're it's giant cold. sweaters. All right. So and I then And then Gabby's going to go off on her own because Gabby can't go on a trail ride and be sane. That's the problem here. This is and the problem. So essentially what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say you guys is that it's mine and Gabby's fault that Sophie's never had a good experience because I always freak out when I go on a trail ride and then it makes Sophie nervous. And then also, uh, Gabby and Kaylee and that group, they always go so fast and it makes Finn like act up and the rules of trail riding are that you're always supposed to go only as fast as the slowest horse, but our girls do not follow those rules. So today and the rest of this fall is going to be about making Sophie and I trail safe, trail ready, trail excited, and not scared. So that's the goal, and that's what we're doing today. Clearly I've not gotten any faster because they're way ahead of me. I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, sometimes because I stick the camera in my shirt and in my pocket, all the settings get messed up, and yesterday's video was all grainy and yuck. I, forgot to fix it but I just fixed it now it's because the settings got messed up sorry about that this is definitely a different trail ride than like she's come a long way in a lot of different ways because she already is off and running on her own doesn't even care about me Putting our life in boxes Erasing the memory so you won't notice I'm taking the time to focus You're by yourself, I'm by myself This is not going well. Good job, Finn! Good boy! <laughs> there it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, go ahead, trot to me. Is trotting on cement hard on them? It toughens up their feet. What? It toughens up their feet. Oh. As long as they don't have shoes. Good boy. He's pooping all over the road though. No. Well, let's go for a little bit more longer walk. I'm not walking. You got your phone? What do you think she's on? Get off your phone. You're in the woods. All the horse has to do is see a deer. But all he needs to do is see a deer. Okay, let's go. Your horse loves deer. My horse loves deer. Till he gets surprised and then, whoosh, Gabby's on the ground. No, because 
um, Gary's spooky idea. Apparently, she knows to just walk and really Daddy has no range. Oh my gosh, well, she needs to put her phone down. No texting and riding alone! Gary loves riding out in the field. Uh, little, little tiny bits of growth at a time. Like today, we just walked on the road a little and she's riding alone and he's doing fabulous. And I think that's so good. He couldn't care less. I hate Gabby going off by herself, but she's confident and strong and her horse loves her. So it'll all work out. Wish I could solve your problems. They're stuck on my wall like neon paintings. And I'm so tired of being. So if he's going to try the water feature that's in the arena currently, Finn is looking at it. Oh, you are okay. It's just water. To everyone by myself, I do it so well. We were so good at flying, but we can keep flying. We keep getting stuck on the wrong side of the mountain. We were so good at trying. and life we were so good at flying but we can't keep flying we keep getting stuck on the wrong side of the mountain we were so good at trying but we can keep trying because we only end up on the wrong side of the going sideways. <laughs> you know what? I don't think Finn likes getting the water on his belly. Because he's like that. He's that kind of horse. Flying, but we can keep flying. We keep getting stuck on the wrong side of the mountain. So good at trying. But we can keep trying. We only end up on the wrong side of the mountain. I need to take a picture of this so that Sam can build it for me. But Sam, this is what I want. This is what Sophie and I want. Why would you buy it from him? Not everything is for sale, Sophie. So basically, we left Gabby on the trail. Just abandoned her. She's out there riding her heart out. I have no footage. She's not, she's alone, which I don't believe in. She has her phone though, which I also don't believe in. And Sophie's just having a walk, a trot, like she just, I just wanted her to, do, whoa, Finn, jeez, I just wanted Finn, like, uh, for this fall, without, like, we'll have a few shows, but I want to, like, I want to shut down their brain, I want to, like, cool it for them, I want to make it, like, fun, like, you know how our mares are just living their life and having fun right now, I want it to be about that, and I want the fall to be about trails, but we do have a few shows left, but I want it to be about trails and relaxation and I just want them to have a time for them now that we had a time for us. Because honestly, I don't think that many horses go out there. 
go out there thinking like, hey, let's go to a show today. I can literally tell that Finn loved that ride. Like that's what they need. They need to come home and just play and, and be fun and just like be a pet for a while. Right? That's what you need. All right, how was your ride, Gabby? I'm glad to see you home alive and safe. He tried to buck me off when I slowed him down. He tried to buck you off when you slowed him down? Yeah, but he doesn't buck or rear. The only thing he does is bolt. And he so he just puts his head down and does a little baby crow hop. Because you said, Barely even a crow because hop. You, you said you said slow down? Did he, did he race? Did he gallop? Did he? He does not gallop. Did he hand gallop? Yeah. Did he lengthen his stride? Yeah. Fun. Good boy. Good you boy. I really wanted to go on the ride home. Like go on a rampage? No. Can... Go when I was cantering home. Oh. I was like, Wee. I'm like, no. Crowley was like, hey, I'm going home, whether you want to come or not. Don't you know that you're beautiful?